You know that feeling, right? You open up Microsoft Teams to check your schedule and wait, where's the calendar? The icon is just gone. It's one of the most frustrating little moments in a workday. If you've ever felt that mini panic, you are definitely not alone. So let's dive into this and get your schedule back on track for good. So there you are, staring at the screen. Your workflow is grinding to a halt, and you're probably wondering how you're even supposed to join your next meeting. It's a super common problem, but here's the good news. It is almost always fixable. So here's our game plan. First, we're going to play detective and figure out why the calendar disappears in the first place. Then I'll give you a toolkit of fixes you can try right away. After that, we'll talk about the heavy-duty solutions for your IT admin. And finally, we'll look at how to prevent this whole mess from ever happening again. Okay, let's kick things off with part one, the vanishing calendar mystery. You know, to really solve a problem, you first have to understand what's causing it. So what's actually going on behind the scenes when your calendar just goes poof? All right, so culprit number one, and honestly, this is a big one, is all about permissions and licensing. A lot of the time, this is actually out of your hands. Your company's IT policies might be set up to restrict calendar access, or you might have a Microsoft 365 license that just doesn't include the full calendar feature. So it might not even be broken. It could have been turned off for your account on purpose. Next up, we've got sync failures. The best way to think about your team's calendar is that it's just a window looking into your Outlook calendar. But if that connection, that link between Teams, Outlook, and your Microsoft 365 account gets weak or breaks, well, that window suddenly becomes a brick wall. The calendar data is still there, Teams just can't see it anymore. And finally, culprit number three. Sometimes the problem is literally just the Teams app itself. Apps store temporary files to run faster, that's called a cache. But if that cache gets corrupted, or if you're running an old, outdated version of Teams, it can cause all sorts of bizarre glitches, including making important things like the calendar just disappear. Okay, enough with the why, right? Let's get to the how to fix it. In this next section, we're opening up the troubleshooting toolkit. These are actionable steps you can take right now without having to wait for IT. You're gonna love this one because it fixes so many weird Teams issues. It's called clearing the cache. It might look a little technical, but trust me, it's not. It's basically just a digital spring cleaning. You just completely close Teams, open that little run box, paste in the file path you see here, and delete everything inside that folder. It forces Teams to rebuild itself, and poof, often your calendar comes right back. Okay, but wait, before you do anything else, let's check for the easiest fix in the book. Sometimes the calendar isn't really gone at all. It just got unpinned from your sidebar. So click those three little dots on the side of your Teams window. If you see calendar sitting in that list, just right click it and hit pin. Hey, it happens to the best of us. Now here's a deep cut, a real pro tip that you probably won't find in the official help docs. Your company has a default email group for absolutely everyone, right? It's usually something like all at yourcompany.com. Believe it or not, if you're accidentally removed from that one group, it can sometimes break the link to your calendar. It's a wild example of just how interconnected everything is in Microsoft 365. All right, so what if you've tried all that and you're still stuck? Well, it might be time to call in the big guns, your IT admin. These are the solutions that require administrator access. So these are the things you'll want to share with your IT department. This is a really big one. Not all Microsoft 365 licenses are created equal, and it has a huge impact on your team's calendar. If you've got a business basic or standard license, you should have full functionality. But if you're on something like an F1 license for frontline workers or the apps for business plan, your calendar features might be limited or not there at all. Your IT admin is the one who can check this and confirm you've got the right license. So when you talk to your admin, here are the three magic things you can ask them to check inside the Teams Admin Center. First, make sure your Exchange Online license is actually turned on. That's the engine that runs the whole calendar. Second, they can use a policy to pin the calendar app to your sidebar for you so it can't get unpinned. And third, they need to make sure you're part of the main company-wide policy that gives access to these basic features. Okay, we've spent a lot of time fixing things after they break. For our last section, let's talk about something way better, preventing the problem from ever happening again and even upgrading your whole calendar experience with a tool like Virto. I mean, think about it. All that troubleshooting is a huge waste of time, right? It's just frustrating. So what if, what if you could just sidestep all those native sync issues and display problems and get a calendar that's way more powerful and reliable right inside Teams? And that's exactly where tools like the Virto Calendar app come into play. 
So what is it? Think of it as a major upgrade to the standard calendar you get in Teams. It's a specialized app built to give you much stronger synchronization and let you pull all your calendars from different places into one central hub. And when I say upgrade, I mean it. It has some serious superpowers. For starters, it pretty much solves those sync issues we talked about with a really solid two-way connection. But then it goes way beyond that, letting you combine things like your team's SharePoint calendar, your tasks from Planner, and even a Google calendar all into one beautifully color-coded view right there inside Teams. Let's put them head to head for a second. The biggest difference you'll see is all about flexibility. The native Teams calendar, well, it only talks to Outlook. That's it. Verto breaks down those walls, pulling in your calendars from SharePoint, Planner, even Google. It gives you way more customization, and maybe the most powerful feature of all, it can overlay all those different calendars into a single view, so you can see the whole picture. The native calendar just can't do that. So at the end of the day, it really comes down to this one question. Are you okay with your calendar just being a simple schedule, a list of appointments, or could it be something more? Could it be your team's strategic command center for managing everything, time, projects, and resources? The tools you choose can really make all the difference.